According to a 2020 AAA study, 80% of all drivers said they had experienced extreme anger, aggression, or road rage from others while driving. Wild, right? Hi there, I'm Amanda Mushro with AutoInsurance.com. Imagine this, you're running late to work and you hit traffic that makes you even more late. Or you're driving down the road and another car, they cut you off. Driving, it can be stressful. And you may joke that you're feeling some road rage, but truthfully, it's no laughing matter. In today's video, I'm going to define what road rage is, talk about some factors that contribute to it, tell you how to avoid it, give you some strategies for interacting with aggressive drivers, and finally, talk about how road rage incidents can affect your car insurance. Are you ready? Let's get started. Road rage is aggressive or angry behaviors that motorists show while driving. And while many road rage incidents are minor, they can quickly escalate into more aggressive driving. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the term aggressive driving was first used in the 1990s as a way to label dangerous on the road behaviors that drivers and passengers saw in their vehicles. Road rage is a broad term and it covers a lot of behaviors from excessive honking and not so polite gestures to more serious incidents like getting out of your car to confront the other driver or purposefully bumping or ramming into another car. Now let's talk about a few factors that contribute to road rage. First, of course, there are the dreaded traffic delays. Nobody likes sitting in traffic and it can definitely leave drivers feeling frustrated and anxious. And what if you're running late? That's another reason. The anonymity of driving also contributes to road rage. I don't know you, you don't know me. Therefore, the chances of risky behaviors are elevated. And finally, sometimes people just don't follow the common rules of the road and that can really anger other drivers. While you can't control other people's behavior, you can control yours. And there's a number of ways that you can help avoid road rage situations. One is to simply leave for your destination earlier. Another is to keep your car maintained so that you don't have to worry it's going to break down and hold up traffic. If you've got kids in the car, make sure they have everything they need before you leave the house, like snacks and toys for entertainment. And finally, if you're stressed, remember to pause and take a deep breath. You've got your emotions in check, but what can you do when another driver is showing aggressive behavior? Everyone makes mistakes, and sometimes an apology is the best way to stop a situation before it gets started. A simple wave and mouthing, I'm sorry, that works. Now, even if you're tempted to lay on your horn and return that not so nice hand gesture, don't do it. It's best not to engage or get out of your car. And if the situation escalates, leave and call 911 for help. Let's talk about how this all relates to your car insurance. Say you and another driver get into a road rage incident and you're at fault. If the police are called, you can get ticketed and even be criminally prosecuted depending on the violation. If your behavior leads to a collision with another car, your insurance will consider road rage to be intentional and they won't cover the damages to your car. Also, you can expect your rates to go up. But if you're the victim and someone hits your car and leaves, well, now you're dealing with a hit and run. To get your car fixed, you'll have to file a claim with your insurance. Depending on your insurance policy and whose fault the collision was, you may be covered under liability coverage, collision coverage, or uninsured, underinsured motorist coverage. If another driver caused the accident, liability coverage will help pay for your expenses, including property damage and bodily injury. Collision helps cover the cost to repair or replace your vehicle in collisions you caused. But first, you'll have to pay the deductible. In hit and runs, uninsured, underinsured coverage pays for damages and bodily injuries for you and your passengers. Even if the accident wasn't your fault, your rates may go up unless you have accident forgiveness. 
It's all a lot of time, money, and stress that probably could have been avoided if everyone just took a deep breath before they got behind the wheel. We've covered a lot today in our deep dive on road rage, what it is and how you can avoid it. I hope it was useful for you. And if so, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single video. And for more information on all things auto insurance, including finding your perfect policy, be sure to visit us at autoinsurance.com. See you in the next video.